Washington, D.C., the capital of the greatest nation on earth and one of the world's great cities, a treasure of history, tradition, and learning. Among Washington's vast national resources stands an array of exceptional medical institutions known the world over. The National Institutes of Health, the National Library of Medicine, the Walter Reed Army Medical Center, the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology, the Bethesda Naval Hospital, and the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences, the nation's only fully government-sponsored medical school. USIS, a community of medical students, graduate students, and hundreds of faculty and staff engaged in the work, study, and research of a dynamic, imaginative medical school curriculum, looking beyond the present towards the 21st century. This four-year medical school, located on the grounds of the Naval Hospital in Bethesda, Maryland, offers the finest in specialty classrooms, multidisciplinary laboratories, student study areas, and academic support units dedicated to educating the best trained physicians in national and global medicine. The Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences was created to provide our military forces and the U.S. Public Health Service with physicians who have received the ultimate in medical training and who are prepared to practice medicine in service to their country wherever it may take them. To practice medicine under conditions that extend and expand the traditional role of civilian physicians. Given these rapidly changing times, our world becomes smaller every decade while our knowledge broadens to a global perspective. The Public Health Service is proud to be represented in the student body and on the faculty of the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences, a medical school with an adventurous, sophisticated curriculum that trains its students for the practice of medicine with a community, national, and global view. USIS is ready for the 21st century. Founded by an act of Congress in 1972, through the leadership of the late Congressman F. Edward A. Bear, this institution provides an imaginative program and philosophy in which students receive full officer pay and allowances throughout medical school, free tuition, all books and equipment, and support services for themselves and their families. Upon completion of medical training, graduates serve seven years of active duty, not including internship and residency training, as commissioned officers, uniformed physicians in the Army, Navy, the Air Force, or the Public Health Service. Men and women who graduate from the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences are trained and skilled far above the level of education provided by civilian medical schools. They are more mature and experienced as physicians and as healthcare leaders. Students are selected with the understanding that they will serve their country on assignments within the United States, in foreign lands, in air and space, or at sea. Dedication to the ideal of service is foremost among applicant reasons for selecting uses. For, as President Reagan stated in a graduation address made here, Yours is the only medical school in America that trains physicians to be ready for duty on the bottom of the ocean or on the surface of the moon and any place in between. The practice of medicine as an active duty officer provides a variety of experiences which offer the opportunity for continuing professional and personal growth. The training at USIS is more comprehensive than elsewhere. Medical students at USIS are far ahead of their counterparts in other medical schools at any given time in their training. Okay. Students are exposed to clinical part. experience beginning with their first week of school and 10% of the first year's workload is in the clinical setting. Before graduating, students at USIS will have received 500 more contact hours than they would have received at any other medical school. In the third year, students complete clinical assignments in family practice, medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, psychiatry, and surgery. In the fourth year, students spend periods at civilian hospitals as well as military medical facilities, gaining additional experience, demonstrating clinical excellence and contributing to local community health care throughout the United States and the world. When we began to receive medical students for a trauma emergency department clinical rotation from your university, I noted and was very impressed that they were able to function and had the maturity of our PG2s. They worked far above the level of our senior students. I was also impressed that their orientation was toward their ultimate career of being a military physician than that of an individual going into the civilian practice of medicine. 
I felt that they would be much better able to handle themselves in a military career upon finishing school than would a civilian student completing medical school and joining the military. One of our major objectives is to provide a transition from classroom and laboratory experiences to the clinical application of health care. The unique feature of the Uniformed Services University is our emphasis on emergency trauma medical care. Through our curriculum, we provide courses such as military applied physiology, which includes human adaptations to exercise, heat, cold, altitude, and depths. Additionally, we have courses in advanced trauma life support, trauma casualty care, and operational emergency medicine. Our faculty are committed to an integrative approach to medical training, taking the basic principles and building good clinical skills. Military medicine is the body of knowledge peculiar to disease and injury incurred as a consequence of military occupations. Practiced in a global system, begins in remote unit clinics, and extends through echelons of increasing sophistication, reaching to modern military teaching hospitals. Military medicine focuses on military units, their working environments from the peacetime garrison to active combat. Special competence is required, especially in infectious disease, emergency pre-hospital care, trauma and disaster management, preventive medicine, the behavioral sciences, and military leadership and management. Through its unique curriculum, USIS provides outstanding preparation for military physicians in each of these areas. The notoriously fierce, tension-laden, competitive medical school atmosphere is absent from USIS. The school's unique orientation makes it possible to educate individuals with the skills, knowledge, and attitudes which make competent, compassionate medical officers. Fewer than 1% of those who enter medical school at USIS fail to complete the program for academic reasons, and there is virtually no stress-related dropout from this remarkable school. Unlike other medical schools, everything at USIS is designed and operated exclusively for medical students. There is nothing easy about going to medical school, but here, I know that everyone is pulling for me to get the best possible education anywhere. The school's primary objective is to produce dedicated medical officers. Leadership and military training are an integral part of the curriculum. Those chosen to attend USIS have a dual identity. They are commissioned officers as well as medical students. Pre-freshman orientation is military training, designed to introduce students to the military and the branch in which they will serve. Camaraderie, teamwork, and esprit de corps are learned in August during the four to six week orientation program supervised by the Office of the Commandant. The program is conducted at the U.S. Army Academy of the Health Sciences at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas, the Officer Indoctrination Center of the Naval Education and Training Center of Newport, Rhode Island, the Leadership and Management Development Center of the Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, or the Department of Health and Human Services in Rockville, Maryland for the U.S. Public Health Service. When classes begin in late August, students are part of a team, part of the military community, members of the officer corps. Teamwork and camaraderie stay with students through medical school and on into their career. Pride permeates every aspect of the university. The spirit of cooperation here is great, not only from the staff and faculty, but from other students as well. Since completing my branch orientation in the summer of my first year, I've made friends that I know I will keep long after graduation. USIS provides a comprehensive medical education, a full program with complete attention to curriculum, content, and the learning process, all focused on the individual MD candidate. The faculty at USIS are concerned not only with the content of my medical training, but also care about how I feel about the training and the subjects covered. If I need clarification on a topic, I receive personal attention right away. These instructors are more than just intelligent and highly trained. They are super people to work with. The design of the school day and week during the first two years provides students with options for both structured and unstructured learning. There are no classes on Saturdays and Sundays. There is an hour and a half midday break on weekdays. Tuesday and Thursday afternoons are free, and all classes end at 3.50 p.m. on longer days. Every aspect of the USIS program has been planned and designed to enhance study and the experience of a medical education. Studying for my medical degree is an intense experience. 
Knowing that I have a fantastic future ahead of me makes it all worthwhile. In the meantime, I can enjoy going to school in the greater Washington, D.C. area and the other special training and educational opportunities available to me. Ever since I was an enlisted Navy hospital corpsman in the mid-1970s, I wanted to become a military physician. I completed my undergraduate degree at the Naval Academy in Annapolis and went on to finish a tour of duty as a Naval flight officer. USIS was always my top choice among medical schools because I wanted to continue my military career without interruption. Also, it was reassuring to me that while I'm a student at USIS, my family can take advantage of a host of benefits available to all active duty dependents. The family support programs at USIS are really great. If we had gone to any other medical school, the cost of tuition, books, and living away from home would have been astronomical. At USIS, tuition and books are free. Additionally, we are paid a salary as active duty military officers. Lisa and I can devote quality time and efforts to our studies with fewer worries. We can also spend time together as newlyweds, enjoying life with the knowledge that we have an exciting career in front of us. Hard work is the fact of life for all medical students. At the F. Edward A. Bear School of Medicine, the life of a medical student includes more. Students enjoy intramural athletics such as basketball, volleyball, softball, and the USIS rugby team is known as a powerhouse, capturing first place in the National Military Rugby Tournament in 1985. Family life for medical students is a reality at USIS. No other medical school can offer the financial support and dependent services available to students here. About one-third of the students are married. Part of the USIS experience includes special opportunities to participate in adventure training, such as airborne, air assault school, scuba school, and the environmental medical course leading to the expert field medical badge. As part of a worldwide military educational network, USIS students can enroll in medical courses abroad during their fourth year of study, such as submarine medicine in Australia, internal medicine in London, or special studies in contagious diseases in Africa. Students can also benefit from the travel opportunities. While civilians enjoy skiing vacations in Vail, USIS students and families ski Innsbruck, Austria, at rates considerably less than domestic trips. Included in the curriculum are courses in medical history, intended to give USIS students an appreciation for their dual profession as physicians and military officers. Perspective for the growth and historical development of both medicine and the conditions of the battlefield are important knowledge for the dedicated professional. At USIS, commitment to the humanities is considered vital to the identity of the practicing physician, and extensive exposure to behavioral sciences is included in the curriculum throughout all four years. USIS applies a multidimensional approach to health care by building into the curriculum courses on ethics and psychiatry. These are intended to provide students with a sensitivity for viewing individual patient needs without oversimplification to make students concerned with what's going on with a person in addition to what's going on with them medically. The goal is to graduate non-assuming physicians, doctors who seek to find out more about their patients and to be more in tune with the human condition. But graduating quality physicians is only one step along the path for the F. Edward A. Bear School of Medicine. The school is continuously involved in research in many areas that combine medical science, clinical medicine, and military medicine, working together with the nearby National Institutes of Health, the U.S. Army Medical Research and Development Command, the Naval Research Institute, and others to develop new preventive measures and procedures of care. Beyond research, it is the effort to bring to the uniformed services the kind of human beings who will meet the great health care challenges, who will serve their nation and the world as ultimate professionals, and who bring to our nation pride through the knowledge we lead the world in our service to humanity. This is what the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences is about, service. In the short period since its founding, well over a thousand USIS graduates are already at work, fulfilling the Hippocratic ideals as they fulfill our nation's pledge to peace, freedom, and the health of mankind. The time I spent at USIS was the most demanding period of my academic life, but I have never expected less of my military career. The satisfaction and fulfillment I feel comes from the knowledge that I am making a difference in the lives of other human beings and that I am serving my country in a vital capacity. My useless experience will always set me apart. 
In the six years since I've graduated from UCIS, I have practiced medicine from Maine to Korea, and I've had many opportunities to work with civilian educated physicians. My medical training is second to none. Through the UCIS experience, I have learned that total health care is not just academic training and clinical experience, it's also how the system works to deliver care. The Uniform Services University espouses a team approach to providing health care and solving health care problems. This perspective is an essential part of the armamentarium needed to address the mission of the United States Public Health Service, which is to improve the nation's health. The F. Edward A. Bear School of Medicine is committed to academic excellence, scientific vigor, humanism, professionalism, and the advancement of military medicine. Everything has been designed to train physicians that are unequaled by any other medical school. We seek candidates who are exceptional in their qualifications, spirit, and desire to serve two professions, medicine and the military. The faculty and administration are also committed to making certain that the student is provided with every educational opportunity to become an outstanding physician of uncommon excellence. The Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences, a medical school like no other, an institution committed to the ideals of a nation as well as a profession, a school whose graduates will be the nation's medical leaders in clinical practice, research, and achievement. The Uniformed Services University, committed to the ideals of America, a school committed to service, to people, our nation, and the world.